thousand years, so to speak. And these men were in the flesh, they didn't have the spiritual bodies. So how much more when we, we have the spiritual bodies and the new covenant? We're not gonna die. Like Paul spoke about immortality, right? Which the word immortality means not dying. We're gonna be gods again. We're gonna be in that God status because even when we were in the flesh at the time, we had a special kind of flesh. We were living to a thousand, damn near a thousand years old. If you can, I'll give you our Genesis the, the fifth chapter. Yeah, yeah, finish that, yeah. To the days of eternity, right? We'll get that later. Therefore is God patient with them. Wait, let me read it. As, as a drop of water... Let's talk about something else. Yeah, we get it again now. As a drop of water onto the sea, mm -hmm. and a gravel stone in comparison of the sand, so are a thousand years to the days of eternity. Okay. Therefore is God patient with them, and pour forth his mercy upon them. Ah, uh, okay, this is He saw and perceived their end to be evil. Mm. Therefore he multiplied his compassion. Ah. Uh, so it goes into what you're saying about how God understands that we're men and we, our days are evil. Con, con, con. That's what I was saying. going into. I mm -hmm. thought that was going into how long we're gonna live. No, no. Yeah, that's what that's going into. Yeah, so that's understandable. And, and that just goes to show you how just the most highest. Because the Lord understands what predicament we're going to be in in these latter times. And this is why the Lord paved the way to send His Son down to die on the cross for our sins. So that in this in this day and age, fast forward into the future, we can we can have a chance of repentance. Because if it was just based on the law, then we would be out. We would never get it. We would never get it. If we had to depend on the law, we would be through, finished. Okay. And that's the thing, so you got two people that could go somewhere else and do their exercise, but they want to show up right in front of us while we're doing the ministry. It makes no sense, man. That's how you know that this society is finished. True. Because the people are just like children, man. Yeah. The people are very immature, they're, they're very uh, childish. Yeah. Okay. Go on, brother. So this yeah. Is the prophet Isaiah 64, verse 6, right? So you got one, you got one showing their ass. You got one bitch showing their ass right in front of us and then you got some other geezer doing some um some some uh some whatever push-ups or whatever stretches go on bro so this is um the prophet um 60 the prophet isaiah 64 verse 6 but we are all as an unclean thing and all our righteousness are as filthy rags and we all do fade as a leaf yeah because of the sense that the law sees upon us and what we've committed but like I said, the most I understands the situation we're in because of these bodies. Like going back to what Paul was saying, how he was sold into sin. Is this, you know, there's thoughts we think that we don't want to think. You know, there's things that we do that we don't want to do. But what is that thing that allows us to do that? The, the natural wickedness that's within us. So what the Lord is going to do, the most I is going to create something else. He's going to make us naturally to do that, which is right. All right. And that's the beauty of the new covenant. 19, 19, 19, 19, 19 verse 10. 19. Verse 10. Look at that. Let's you want that? Do I want to, let's yeah, do, yeah, the, yeah. Let's do the live thing. Yeah, when you read it, you might see what I'm saying, what the is saying. Psalms 90 and 10. Mm. For all our days are passed away. Hey, that's the spirit. I was looking for this as well. <laughs> well hey, that's the spirit. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. Mm. We spend our years as a tell that is yeah, told. Yeah, right. I the days of our years are three score years and ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if by, by reason of strength, they be four score years. Yeah. Yet is their strength labor and sorrow, yeah, yeah, for it is soon yeah. cut off and we fly away. Can't. And you know too, that's kind of like um, <coughs> going into again the estate of man right now. Because the estate of man, that's the estate of man today. Exactly. The only, like the average person can live probably like to 80 years old. Yeah. If he eats good, but even <laughs> 70 years old, you got a lot of people that can't even live until like this, in, until they're 70. Yeah. You know, so if you can make it at 80, that's like, that's actually pretty good. And you got some people that live to like over 100 years old, you know? But that ain't shit in comparison to what we used to be. Okay, and what we're going to be in the future, full circle. You see? Yeah, so, um, going on. Um, I see what I can because he don't got it. If you can get Genesis 5. <clears throat> now it talks about um, the 
men that lived it, like almost a thousand years, like with dudes living. Yeah. Um, mm. Genesis yeah. five. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Genesis five. No, get the one you was getting before. The one that you had before. Yeah, we'll get that later, bro. Come on. Isaiah 64, <coughs> verse 6. But we are all as an unclean thing. Yes. And all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags. Yeah. And um, another thing, too. Like, for example, you have IURC. IURC, they like to stress. You got to keep the law. You got to keep the law. You got to yeah. keep the law. Mm -hmm. But you can't keep the law because of the society you're in. The society that you're in prevents you from keeping all of the laws. Right. And the flesh that you're in prevents you from keeping all of the laws as well. Right. So this is why, as you read the scripture in the um, in the Apocrypha, on how we're in the days of evil, no, yeah. he, ha he has compassion upon us right. because of the multitude of evils that were, th the days that we're dwelling in. Right. Okay? So this is why, going back to what I was saying before, now I'm back with my train of thought. Yahweh Shai died for our sins so that we can stand a chance to repent. Right. Okay? In this estate, because if we had to depend on the law in this estate, it would be impossible. We couldn't keep the law. All right, you're going, brother. As, um, but all our righteousnesses as, are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and all our iniquities. Right, and we all do fade iniquity. as a leaf. A leaf doesn't, like, look at the ground. How long does a leaf last? It doesn't last so long. It doesn't last too long, does it? Go on, brother. Right. Like, um, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away, mm. and there is none that calleth upon thy name, that stirreth up himself to take hold of thee. Right. For thou hast hid thy face from us, and hast consumed us because of our iniquities. How much more now? Look at us now. A lot of our, if you, if you were to ask the average Jake, what's the name of the Lord, and what's the name of his son? They couldn't tell you to save their life. Right. Okay? But we know the name of the Lord. So even yet and still, there's no... There's no righteousness or no spirit of righteousness within within our, our people, the majority of them anyway. But that doesn't that doesn't matter because the Lord only needs a drop of his people to set everything straight. 144,000 and the one third that support the ministry. Go on, brother. But now, O Yahweh, thou art our father. Mm. We are the clay, and thou art thou our potter. And we are all the work of their hand. Yeah, that's another scene. That's another point. We're all the work of his hand. So being that he made us in this form, right? Yeah. And we're yeah, in exactly. this estate. Wouldn't he understand exactly. our situation? Because he made us to be this way. Exactly. So obviously he would have understood <coughs> what he made. Mm. He would have understood that, like, you're a potter, right? You understand the materials that you're using. Exactly. To build wherever it is that you're building. Yeah. You understand you're probably using, I don't know cardboard and you don't know you're you're a designer right you're an architect you're mm -hmm. architect right so you understand that there's certain specific materials that you need mm -hmm. to hold the frame of that building that yes. you're making you know what i'm saying you're not just gonna get some random whatever mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because whatever it is that you're using that could potentially affect the environment exactly. and the ecosystem you know what i'm saying that could have <coughs> like consequences man so you gotta have a a keen understanding of the materials you're using, the length, the breadth. You gotta understand all these things, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, where you're putting the building, the environment, is it is it in the mountain? Where is it? Is it in somewhere like a desert environment? Where is it? Rocky environment. So the materials that you're using has to be good to to um, you know survive in those environments, man. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? So the most high, he's made us. And he's talking about he's going to give us perfect laws. Right. You mean to tell me that he didn't know that we wasn't perfect? Exactly. Of course he knew that. Exactly. The most I knew what he created. Yep. That's what the word creature, the creature comes from the word creation. creation. Yep. So he knew what he was creating, man. The creature that he was creating. He understood that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and I mean, that's a very, that's a very good point. So the Lord, <laughs> the Lord very well understands our, our situation because he made us in this situation. And this is why, you know, we, beginning with the apostles, we always say that the Lord knew he was going to go off. The Lord knew he was going to go off because, again, he created us. Canada, in, in Proverbs, it actually says that even a just man yeah. falls seven times. Exactly. And get a, well, why is you know? it, if he's a just right. man, why is he falling down he's seven falling. times? Why is he falling? Because he's flesh. Because, because he's, he's in the flesh. Because he's flesh. He's a just man. Right. It's because if his spirit is just. Yeah. It says the spirit of just men made perfect. Yes. 
So meaning those just men, at the moment, we're not perfect. Exactly. So we're being made perfect through what? This world. Exactly. And, and in order for us to know what perfection is all about, we have to know what imperfection is. So again, going back to what you were saying, this is all the learning curve. Shalom, I'm finish with yours. Yeah, I'm going to say, because also a precept says the most high knows to get ahead, the number of hairs in my head. Right, 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 right. Cut, cut. Exactly. That's, that's another good point. So if the Lord knows that much about his creation, certainly, certainly he's going to know the, our ways. That's not going to go past him. Every, everything else he knows, but that's going to go past him. Come on, dog. You know? Yeah, so you finish with yours? Um, what in the other I remember you going back to Ezekiel. Okay. <laughs> I think what, brother, hold on. It's Stay it's focused, huh? Bro, stretch it the way it's free. Hey, brother, yeah, yeah. Just, it's just one, right? Yeah, it's just one. Okay, come on, and we'll go back to that. Ecclesiastes chapter 14 and 17. All flesh waxeth with old as a garment. For the, yeah. for the covenant from the beginning is, thou shalt die the death. Mm. As of the green leaves on a thick tree. Exactly. Some fool. But he was just reading something like that. What precept is that? This is um, Ecclesiastes chapter 14. And I started at 17. 14 and 17. To 18. So is the generation of flesh and blood. Mm. One cometh to an end and another is born. Every work rotteth yes. and consumeth away. And the worker thereof shall go with all. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the man that doth meditate good things in wisdom and that reasoneth of holy things by his understanding. Yeah, because these bodies, they only endure for a while. They don't, they don't go for um, a thousand years or 700 years or for eternity. Now, the reason why men on this earth, we can kind of like comprehend eternity is we've been there before. Like the scripture says in the um, Ecclesiastes, it says the thing that is, the thing that, it, that was at the time is that which shall be done. We've all been here before. We've all, you know, been all over the place. We've all been in certain states of, in society or whatever the case may be. So we know what that's all about, but mainly more so the men of the Lord. You know, we know what eternity is. We've, you know, we've, we've had thoughts of that because we were that at one time. You know, so if we were that at one time, as the past, so is the future, right? We're going to be that in the future. Yeah. Okay, as they say, um, the future, the, the past, itself. There's no new thing under the sun. Mm -hmm. So if we, if we were, uh, 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 what is it, angels, or the, what you call the Nephilim, we're gonna be, we're gonna go back to that again. Okay, but in the midst of all of this, we're just going through the motions and experiencing what it means to live a life of wickedness, and also to live in a situation where we know what wrong is all about. You know, even within our own selves, <clears throat> because even in the bodies that we're in right now. We can't look at ourselves straight in the mirror because we know that there's some certain things that we don't like to see within ourselves, you know? But that's just the experience. <coughs> like you were saying, when we then when we go on the throne, we will be ignorant to what weakness is all about. We'll be we'll be very yeah, exactly. aware of that. I think I said that in one of my videos too, that mm. you're gonna understand what it means to be sick. <laughs> you're gonna understand what it means to 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 feel pain, man. Yeah. You gotta understand what it means to be depressed and mental mental illnesses, man. Mm. Where nowhere where it feels like to have like sickle cell and you know like immune system issues, Efficiency, skins, yeah. like all these diseases, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We gotta know where it feels to be insecure about ourselves, man. We gotta know where it means to be tempted by certain like, mm. adulterous things, man. Mm. You know, to have demons in us of being even being a sodom man, man. You know what I'm saying? Certain demons that come to your, your mind. Mm -hmm. To be troubled in thinking, to understand what it's like to be in the flesh, man. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Yahweh Shai, um, he's, he's at the right hand side of the Mosai right now. But once upon a time, he was in flesh just like us. He said that the, the word came and became flesh right. and dwelt among us, man. Yes. So yeah. Yahweh Shai was tempted just like any other man. You know what I'm saying? It tells you how Satan was trying to tempt him when he was going on that, that, um, that fast, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's why he prayed to the Lord three, what is it, three times. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so um, the most I want us to understand where it is to be mortal, to see your own flesh corrupt, to be sick, to be hospitalized, to, you 
know what I'm saying, to be human. Because one day we will judge mortals, we will judge other humans, judge people that are in, in sickness, judge people that are poor, judge people we're going to have to rule with under, wisdom and understanding. You know what I'm saying? So you have some people that live and all they know is wealth. All they know is riches and wealth, man. They don't know what it means to be poor. You know what I'm saying? And How can a person like that tr truly yep. execute proper judgment and justice? Can't. If they if they they don't they don't they're ruling over poor people, but they don't know what it's like to be poor. Mm. Like Esau, Esau's rich, but he doesn't know what it's like to be in slavery. He doesn't know what it's like to be hung from trees and and burned alive and to you know to walk around here too and people looking at him like he's just a nigger. Mm. But the Most High is going to give him a taste of his medicine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. The Most High is about to put the rich man in Lazarus' shoes. And Lazarus, in the mo Lazarus has already gone through <coughs> where it's like to be at a, a, a man's gates, eating the breadcrumbs that fall from another man's table, mm. to have his own woman. Because they didn't say Lazarus had a wife, because ain't no woman feeling no, no poor man with sores all over his body. Mm. So, so the Most High is about to put Lazarus in the rich man's place now. Mm. Okay, you know? So when we sit on that throne, we understand the good and evil. We're going to be as gods, you knowing good from evil, mm. you know? And that's what this whole experience is, is all about. Good and evil. You know? So, um... Okay. Okay, you're going. You're continuing. You're continue on. You're going into that thing. Yeah. Um, Ezekiel 36, verse 26. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. Yes. And so, I will... So, so it's two things we got to look at. The Mosa is going to give us a new mind and a new spirit. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be brand new. No. You want to mm. talk about being innocent? Mm. You see how the scripture says, right? Who so perish being innocent? Right? Why does it say that? Because we all lived before and we've all uh, uh um we've we've all had experiences of, of our past life. And we know things of our past life, but the Lord ain't gonna reveal those things to us. So what the Lord is gonna do, the Lord is gonna give us a new spirit, meaning he's gonna start all over again with us. And we're gonna be innocent, we're gonna be like the most high. Because the, the only entity that can call themselves innocent is the creator and the angels that haven't been down on earth. They can call themselves innocent, but we down here, we can't call ourselves innocent. But when the most side gives us this, we have to read that again. This is on verse 26, Ezekiel 36, verse 26, right? A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. Right, so the Lord said he's going to give us a new heart and a new spirit. Go on. Damn. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. Uh, and on top of that, he's yep. going to take away the rebellious spirit that's with us. Go on. And I will give you a heart of flesh. And then I will give you a heart of flesh so that the, what is it, metaphorically speaking, so that the laws can enter into our bodies. Go on. And I will put my spirit within you. And I will put my spirit within you. So we're going to be men of a... Of a what the most I was going to do the most is going to erase everything that we I once were. Most, you know erase what? all of that, right? Get all of that that, that filled out of our system. And put his spirit and put his ways in us. So we ain't going off ever. Ever. All right? We're going to be the men that we were supposed to be from the beginning. All right? <laughs> and all of these nations, they're going to see us. And they're going to call us, yeah, these are the sons of God. Because they're going to see it. They're going to see our actions, all right? And we're going to look at ourselves like, yeah, that's a God right there. You know, you're going to look at a brother, yeah, that's the most high. Yeah. You understand? Because we're going to be in his image. We're going to bear the image of the creator himself. That's what the most high has prepared before us. We're going to bear his image. We're literally going to be bearing his image. And I don't mean that like physically, but I mean that spiritually. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Because we're bearing the image of men. Right. We're not bearing the image of the sons of God. We're bearing the image of men right now. So that's what the Lord has prepared for us, man. Uh, this is Crazy. Uh, this is Psalms 82, verse yes. 6, right? Yep. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Right, all of you are children of the Most High. Go on. But ye shall die like men. But ye yeah. shall die like men. Why? Because we're going to be in the, the, the bodies as the sons of men are. We're going to be in mortal flesh. But in spirit, we are the sons of God. So now what the Lord is going to do, the Lord, the Most High already gave us a certain spirit to think a certain way. 
but we just need the bodies to match that way of thinking. You understand? Is there any more now? Um, and fall like one of the princes. And fall like one of the princes of the other nations. Okay? So that's what we're experiencing right now. So we'll go back to what you had in Ezekiel 36. Huh? Um, <clears throat> this is Ezekiel uh, 26 and uh, 36 and 27 and I will put my spirit within you mm -hmm. and cause you to walk in my statutes mm -hmm. and ye shall keep my judgments and do them yeah so the Lord is going to clean us he's going to give us a clean slate and we're literally going to be innocent why because we're not going to have all of the stuff that we that we did in our, in our past life or in this lifetime or whatever lifetime <clears throat> so we're going we're gonna to have a clean mindset our spirit is going to be renewed everything's going to be brand new Okay? And in that point, we can be innocent. We can Then we, then there's going to be men that can call themselves innocent. But in this case, no man perish being innocent. Because we've all did things in our past life, and we all did things in this life, and the Lord has seen everything that we've done. You see? So the Lord is going to have, the, the most I is going to show you what he meant when he, when he said he was going to have mercy upon us. We're going to experience that. Because we can only but read about it, but as we're reading it, and I'm thinking about, as the brother's reading it, I'm it's some heavy stuff, man. I'm thinking about it too, man. It's heavy, huh? I'm, you're talking about the Lord is going to give us powerful bodies, man. Because mm. in order to rule an everlasting kingdom, we have to be everlasting. Mm -hmm. Which means we got to have strong bodies, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can't rule everlasting with this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bruv, I've, I've, got, I've, got, I've, got, I've got asthma. You know what I've got to use on a daily basis just to keep my body going? I've got to use this, man. A fucking That's my inhaler, man. I've got to use an inhaler. You know what I'm saying? You twist the top and you yeah. move it in. Mm. Yeah. Just, just so I can Survive. breathe properly. Yeah. Mm. How the hell can a body like this rule forever? Defiled. If mm. I run out of this, I'll be dead. Fucking hell. <laughs> I've, I've got to order this. I've got to uh, go to the um, yeah. um, medical, um, you know, the surgery place, man. And yeah. Get a prescription. Yeah. Say, can I order this? Yeah. And then it'll probably take about two to three working days. And then I pick up the prescription. I go to the pharmacist and I say, yo, uh, give me this in it. Mm -hmm. And then I tick the thing off and say, I'm basically, I'm getting, you know, job seekers, uh, universal credit. You know, give me the thing for free. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you get me, you gotta get fucking drugs yeah. to support these bodies. Mm. That's how weak these bodies are, man. Can Probably I say something? Take drugs got, and medication mm. just to keep these bodies going. Mm. Can I just say something about mm. that, that, right? Once I, there was gonna, a couple of years ago, they wanted to prescribe me that. They said I had asthma, mm -hmm. right? And you gotta go to the hospital and breathe in that thing. Yeah, it? yeah, I know that, I know that. And I, and I decided that I didn't want to take it, right? Just, just, just saying, yeah? And um, I haven't got asthma, and I didn't take it. But with that, on the long run, in the long run, it, 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 you will need it. You you become addicted to it in the long run. Yeah. So it's respirator. So there's actually um that the the chemical that's in there. Yeah, it's um it's a um what's this word, man? It's a um it's a um what do you call it, man? It's a um oh, it's a, um. Because I had it, I had it at home for about a year, and I never, never, because painkillers I used to get, and then after a while I said, let me, let me just push through with it. You know what? He knows what I'm like. And then that's I really, was it that's steroid? steroid. steroid. And then a, a good while, even when I was getting mild attacks, I wasn't taking it. Mm. And then in the long run, I never. I, 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 they said, you want to? We want to come and give you the thing. I said, no. I said, it's alright. I don't. Want, I haven't got asthma. Mm. They took, they, 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 they clicked it off. I ain't got asthma, mm. so I don't need that. See, but. See? Yeah, that, but they, they want you to be addicted to their yeah, the, the drugs, the, yeah. prescription drug. So you go there and you get a prescription for it, for it consistently so that you're consist consistently addicted to it. Mm. And some people, they, they potentially haven't got a serious case of asthma, mm. but because of maybe the weather, they think they are because they're short of breath mm. and, they, and they say you've got asthma and that's how they get uh, you hooked uh, on it. Mm. Yeah, but you like, know what it is too? The yeah. Talk, you know what it is? He saw and then screwed this whole planet up. Yeah. Right? Because everybody's different. Everybody everybody gets affected by nature or, you know, this the way this earth is differently. You know, some people are strong strong on areas and some people are weaker on certain areas. Yeah. But my thing is is this. I believe the reason why people have asthma, yeah. Because Esau is cutting a lot of trees down 
And it's just certain, it's just, a, it's just certain ways how Esau is set and ruling the earth. Where it's just, it's, it's making people sick because we, we're, this is who we are, we're the earth. Yeah. We came out of this. Mm. So if this is partly, partially messed up, yeah. it's going to have an effect on our bodies too. Yeah. You understand that we may not think about it because it's like, you can't think about everything going on in the earth. Because we're, you know, our minds can only but go so far. But the earth is a reflection of us. So if, if the earth is messed up to a certain degree, we're going to be messed up. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, man, and this is why we're in this truth. We're in this truth because we're looking for a way out. Right? And the, the, yeah. the thing that we want is for this, this devil to come out of power. This yeah. is one of the things you have to push. If you, you can't call yourself a man of the Lord if you don't want the end to come. Yeah. yeah. All right. Because yeah, yeah, a man yeah. of the Lord understands how things are supposed to be done and how it's supposed to be. Yeah. All right. We've been given this information, this, this knowledge and understanding on how to rule the earth. This is the manuscript of the earth. Mm -hmm. So when you have people that's ruling the earth and they're not using this, this is the fuck you're going to get. Can I get a piece of you ready? Yeah, go on, bro. Mm -hmm. Right. So let me start. Right. This is Psalms chapter 9. Let me start from verse. Um, Verse 17. Yeah, read that arc and then, and then go back to Ezekiel 36. <coughs> go on. Psalms 9, verse 10, 17. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget the Most High, right? For the needy shall not always <coughs> be forgotten. Right. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. That's what I'm saying. So we're expecting something to happen. We're expecting to change because we know that something is wrong. The way Esau is occupying the planet and the way he's ruling over the people is the wrong way. Everything about the society is wrong, okay? You have the people that are supposed to be uh, ruling the earth, not ruling the earth. You have the people that, are so, that ain't supposed to be ruling, ruling the earth. And this is why they abuse their power. People abuse their power because they know in their spirit they're not supposed to be in that position of power. Yeah. <laughs> like certain women at certain jobs, right? They abuse their power. Yeah. Because they know they don't belong to be in that position. You understand? Politicians. Exactly. Politicians, Politicians as well. What yeah. happened? Okay. But when we get into the when we get into the power seat, we I ain't gonna lie, right? We're gonna kick these nations up, upside their head. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna happen. It's justice. But when it's all said and done, we're gonna give the nations this. And we're not gonna be ruling over them like like how we was doing that before. Tyrants. There's no reason to. Yeah. But the only nation that's not gonna be on the earth is Esau, these Edomites. Because they're showing time and time again that they can't hack it. They've been. Them. I mean, the Most High put them, put them in the positions of power when he would, when he with the Greeks, the Romans, and even yet the third time coming, and they still cannot show that they have any righteousness in them. So they gotta go, man. They gotta, they have to go because they're messing up the planet. What is still going? <coughs> this is um. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Mm. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight. In this case, the so-called white man. Please do not let this man prevail. Go on. Put them in fear, O Yahweh. And he is putting them in fear. You know why he's put. You know why he's in fear? Because we're out here showing him that he's going down. Mm. You got the truth coming out about him, and all the above. So mm. this is why he's in fear. But he's going to be in ultimate fear when the Messiah makes a second return. Right. And the angels come in the midst and do the damage. That's right, brother. That that's right. Therein. That's right, brother. The prophecy they will, since they, um, they all the <coughs> tribes shall will because of it. Yeah. This um, is um, put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Exactly, to be but men, and the Lord is going to show them that they're exactly but men, mm. because a lot of us grew up and we thought we were the ship. We thought we were, you know, we was invincible. But this truth shows you that yeah. we're not invincible. This truth shows you that we're not strong as we think we are. Mm. We're really weak. No matter, it doesn't matter how much you, you bench press or you, you, you do your curls. You know, because mm -hmm. I, hey, I, I get into the workout. Yeah. My body looks reasonably well, you know. Yeah. But that don't mean anything, man. Hey, the most I can, <laughs> the most I can shoot a laser up my ass <laughs> and I turn the ass. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, like, it's funny, but it's real. It happens. It so happens. it doesn't matter. We, the, the, the thing about it is, is this. And it's not even, I don't even have to go that far. I can even walk somewhere, right, where it's dusty. And that dust is going to kick my ass. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So it, don't, it doesn't matter how, 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 uh, how strong you think you are. Yeah. You're, you're weak. Yeah. You need help. We all need help. Mm -hmm. The man is so weak mm. that he has to go to the gym 
just to look strong. Yeah. Calm, and he's calm. gotta take what how many months and years in to build his just to build up his body. Yeah. Mm. That's how weak he is. It takes years mm. just to look mm. the way he look. Mm. And even then, he's still he's not still completely ain't really strong. strong. Yeah. Mm. Because even them same bodybuilders, they still have their insecurities, man. Yeah, they yeah. Still, even though they're, they're wham and... Yeah. Bro, they still look at themselves and think, oh, my arms ain't big enough. They still yeah. have them insecurities, you know, my arm, my legs ain't big enough. Mm. They still, some of them take steroids. Yeah. Mm. Some of them, they, they get killed, man. Yeah, they, they actually do, yeah. Over those steroids, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, um, what was I going to say? I was going to say, um, I was going to say something. It said, because Yahweh Shai said, what man can take one thought mm. and add one cubit onto his hat, man. Exactly. So in the kingdom, just by taking a thought, man. Mm. Yeah. They're like um, Johnny Bravo, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know just yeah. by taking one, we ain't going to take years to look wham and big and just by taking one thought mm. in the kingdom, man. You can just make yourself to be as tall as you want. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta stress it. You ain't gotta make do exercise, to, yeah. you know, to get big. You just you are that. You, mm -hmm. you know. What, one thing as well, because Bruce Lee, he was his reputation was for being super fit, mm -hmm. and they said he, he maybe have been too fit. He took one of them tablets. They're mm -hmm. saying uh, a painkiller, and it had there was an allergic reaction. Mm -hmm. They call it uh, an edema, and that's what killed him. Uh, and, and he was supposed to be invincible. I mean, he was role, my role model, but. Yeah. Just like that, the most I put him to death. But that's that's another good point you made yeah. because Bruce Lee, he was a, he was super fit. Yeah. This dude can kick you and you 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 be flying, man. Yeah, yeah. But the guy was small. He was a small guy, yeah. right? But this dude can 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 kick you a certain way, and you probably you probably be over here to over there. Yeah. So he was a fit dude. Yeah. But for one tablet to destroy him, take his life, that shows you that he was weak. Right. Okay, so this is why we need, again, the bodies, these bodies got to go. Because you could look a certain way. You, you may have the perfect body, but there's, there's a part of that body that's really weak. You may have a weak immune system. Mm, that's you may be allergic to dust or, or peanuts or whatever. There it is, you a guy that, that works out. And you, you, got, you got muscles on your eyebrows, <laughs> but you're allergic to peanut. Right. <laughs> peanut allergy, yeah. I mean, I've got allergies. Allergies, yeah. yeah. certain food that I can't imagine that. There's certain food that you can't eat. Like, I can't like I'm allergic to like um gluten, right? Gluten is basically like black like bread, like you get what I mean? Yeah. Cool. And so you have certain products that like, are gluten free in there. Yeah, wheat. Mm. Yeah, I'm allergic to gluten free because it agitates my immune system and that's what causes my eczema to get worse. To rise right? up. Cool. Gluten um gluten, dairy products like milk, cow's milk. Um, eggs, I'm allergic to eggs, man. You should see what happens to me when I eat eggs. Gross. I'm, I'm waiting for that change so I can eat those things in the kingdom. Oh. Mm. Mm. So I can always have to eat pizza, man. Mm. I want to eat cheese, man. Gross. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> so you're, you're in the strict diet, bro. I know, I know. I'm really ashamed about that. That's you know some I mean? serious shit, yeah. Uh, you know, milk. I want to drink milk. I want to eat bread. I want to, you know mm. what I'm saying? I want to eat what I want, mm. you know? As long as it's obviously lawful. Oh. Um, I was going to say that even man has to take stick, things like Viagra, oh, man, yeah. is to keep him ting oh, straight yeah. in the bedroom, man. Mm. Yeah. You're gonna need no Viagra in the bedroom, man. You know what I'm saying? And this is Isaiah 40, verse 29. He give a power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. <coughs> Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Yahweh mm. shall renew their, their strength. strength. And that's what that's what's coming to us. Our strength is going to be renewed. So every single thing about us is going to be transformed into something else. Okay? And, 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 I, and I beg to believe, obviously, that we're all probably all going to look different. Hell, I want to look different. I don't want to be walking around looking like this for the rest of my life on this earth. Hell no, man. You understand? So that's what we got coming. Like, you know, certain...